Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Andrea. Today we're gonna to talk about the tea tree um, styling tool. Um, the one that I'm having here is the 1.25 and it's the one with the clip. Um, it is my favorite one. You just log it in and it stays in there. Um, if you have other heads, like a different ones, you can interchange and use but this is my favorite so we're doing the review on this one today now um in a little bit you'll see the demo but this is what it looks like after about an hour and a half um i did not put any spray on so no hairspray on i'm gonna go a little bit back so that you can see the whole length of hair um like i said an hour and a half about there and i'm gonna turn around so you can see the back what it looks like an hour and a half after it might even might even be two i'm not sure mm -hmm. but um it is let me come close <laughs> um it is my favorite way to do my hair it not always turns out the same because it depends on how thick your um your hair uh, sections are and how you do it but you'll see in the demo how i did it and if you you know learn something that's awesome if you have something to add do put it down in the in the um, uh, comments section down below and let us know if you have it do you like it do you not uh, did you find anything else that works just as good as this because these are definitely not cheap products they are um, out there you can get a lot of deals on it so i don't recommend buying it on full size like pretty much nothing on full size unless you're like really forced but if you can get away with just um use some coupons or wait for deals sales they have them all over the place actually sephora had the sets the whole three sets the the three heads with the base uh half off just like a week ago or so it depends on when this goes live but yes um there will be day deals there are deals pretty much year round and if you can find them from sephora or alta um tea tree also has them on their website and it's awesome um it has dual voltage which is why i chose this one because i do travel to romania and i like to be able to take something with this hairstyle lasts me for three to four days i do put it up in a bun so that kind of reinforces the, the uh, curl to go back to curling uh, during the night while i sleep so when i take it down in the morning it looks nice so <laughs> Um, I really love that I found that for myself. Try it yourself and see how you like it. Uh, it does a huge difference on the curl, wear, and length of it. So anyways, I like to um, do my hair every time after I wash it, and I wash it twice a week, because it seems like if I do it then, then it stays nice, and it gives me a different, different look at, I would say life, at life, but it kind of does because when you look in the mirror and you, you like how you look, um, you feel different. I was a stay at home mom for a long time. Um, I didn't always get ready, you know, being with kids all around and having not much sleep, it's just tiring. And if you can just save yourself from the, <laughs> the motion of going through do your hair, um i did that i i did i saved myself but uh what i noticed is that the days that i did take care of myself especially my hair if i didn't just keep it in a bun or in a ponytail um or just kind of it looked quite raggedy to tell you the truth you know but the ta the days that i did take the time to actually do my hair it was a different story i liked myself better and i know that like exterior should not matter but it does so it does something to up here yes we should be working up here first and i am working on that all the time and i've come a long way but i can tell you that when you take care of your hair and you take care of your outside um outside uh look you feel better on the inside and anything helps especially when you have hard days and like stressful days and all that if you put something nice on if you uh, wear yourself you know with your shoulders up and your head up straight it's different it, 
you feel much better you know even if you're sick even if you're going through a tough time it definitely makes you feel better but enough of that um, I will see you in the demo and then I hope that this has helped you and let me know if you have it and if you like it down below so this is my air dried uh, soliloquy here <laughs> sorry about that and nothing I can do about it but I'm uh, just gonna go with it air dried hair Washed last night, now it's morning, it's about 10 o'clock or maybe after. Coffee took a little longer today. <laughs> I was relaxing there. Um, not bad, but definitely could use some definition, some like better, better look. But um, already brushed. Now last night, okay. <laughs> now last night um, when it was damp after I washed it and I kind of put it in um, a little turban up. Um, I used the um, John Frieda freeze is is gone um, foam mousse, and then I put the uh, Giovanni um, dual action protective leave-in spray. It's my um, protective layer for actual um, heat. And then I also put this on, just very little. There's like a lot of it. It really comes on very. You can see it's very thick, so you don't need to use a lot. So it's been lasting for a while. Um, it's the anti-freeze and binding serum oil. It really is not feeling like an oil. It feels almost like a like a thick gel. But anyways, I already brushed my hair, so I'm gonna section it as I always do and brush it off so that when I do go ahead and um, curl it, I don't have to really do much or try to brush it in. All right, second layer going. I just do it however. I don't really um, I don't measure or anything. It's just whatever falls in there. Okay, and then these clips are the bomb. I'll link them down. Just there. Okay, and then with the bottom layer, since I already brushed, I don't need to brush again, but I usually do that section. Huh, I have very little left. I usually have for three. Do I have a three? I do. All right. I'm going to try to turn it on the back to actually for you to see. I have mine on the fourth setting. There's five settings. I have mine on the fourth. I can't remember what the heat is because I set it up over an hour ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> over a year ago. Okay. Um, I have to calm it down actually. I tried to cool it down a bit. I tried to cool it down a bit. Uh, in my hand before I put it down and I lay it gently but uh yeah so I set my temperature a, a year ago and so it sets that way and it stays that way and when you turn it on it just go goes directly to where you set it so that's nice you don't have to set it every time that you do it I use this, even though it's got a clip, and I know some people do it in there, um, I just use it without. I use it as a wand, and it's working fine for me. Like I said, I do count for this one, and I just let it down there so that it can actually cool down on its own. And uh, as it cools down, it's just gonna keep the shape. I always keep one chunk for the back. I do about 12 seconds, it depends on how big the, the um, chunk of hair is that I'm actually working with. But usually it's 12 seconds and I don't know, I just, I had to come up with that as I, as I went, as I learned what my hair did and how it held the best and all that. I used to do 10 seconds each um, and now I lost count. <laughs> of course. That's done. And then this is kind of big, I don't know if I want to do it all in one. I'll just separate it. And I do like to alternate. 
because I feel like if I do it all into just one direction, it just uh, binds into each other. I'm gonna look at it. Uh, binds into each other and it looks like a big sausage. <laughs> yeah, but I alternate. Then these ones, around the face, I do like to go against, like away from the face. So I kind of, um, I kind of do it to where I, I do have that one left, you know. The other side it doesn't take me long to do it usually i do it before um i get out of the house to take the girls to school um i have a little bit of time well the little ones are well well the oldest one is getting ready because she's the one that goes out first so that's my time to do my hair when i wash it the night before but uh i figured i'll do it after so that we can actually take the time i can take the time and show you and not be interrupted by you know somebody needing something so yeah oh gosh no okay i have to do it this way now because i do want the other one against the face i remember tati when she was doing one of her videos a few years back i think um <laughs> she was talking about the little thing that's up here and i think she was using the clip i could be wrong but she was talking about how she does all of her um ends she says because i'm a princess and i don't know why but that just stuck in my head <laughs> and every time i see a little a little thing in here i'm like i'm gonna do it because i'm a princess <laughs> <sighs> things that we remember or i should say things that stick in our mind more than that you know some things just stick in our mind like more than others i right, try to show that back Show that back, and then the last layer kind of like I said, I like to keep the one in the middle there so that it does not create a colic or a division. So I used to do it before, like half and half, and it's just it was not that day, it wasn't looking nice. And you can see the the smoke in there. <laughs> oh. Good thing I have that protector on. Oh, I should have looked and showed you, but oh well. This is the back one that I just did. Okay, so this side. And this is just such a good size for my hair. I just love it so much. Ever since I got this one, uh, because I felt like I needed it um, when I cut my hair shorter. When I had my hair longer, it was fine. But um, after that, it just it just was not was not doing what I was in need of it doing. So I got the one point twenty five. I had the one. One inch and then 1.5 and then also the cone which I like the cone but the one one inch was way too wiry for me and then the other one just didn't give me enough waves because it's much you know bigger and then also because these hair of mine was much shorter so it wasn't enough to go around and I felt like it wasn't really holding as good um of a wave as this one does for some reason i don't know it shouldn't really matter because it's the same thing but yeah it did all right i'm not sure why i'm seeing so much smoke in there or maybe i never really paid attention to it much See that coming up? I've never had a problem burning it. I don't keep it long enough there and it's not at the highest temperature either. Um, and I do use things to protect it. 
Oh shoot, now I'm opposite. All right, well, I'm gonna still have to do it this way then. Because I do want the top one to be against, or I should say away from it. And my princess. All right, and the last one. Now this I don't be, I don't think that this one came with a um, glove. I don't think so. I could be wrong though. I know one of them came with the glove. I'm not sure. Might have been the actual wand. I think the wand did. The wand set did. All right. All right, and that's the last one. I'm just gonna turn it off because we did grab everything. Okay. Um, and what I do is right now. I'm just letting it be. So I'm not gonna mess with it for at least five minutes, uh, five to 10, it depends on what I do around the house. I think I missed, I missed, <coughs> oh, okay, I did. But luckily, this is still kind of hot. Even though I turned it off, it's just gonna be enough. Enough to just kind of get it in there. Just enough, okay, we're good. Um, yeah, so I will be back in about five minutes, five to ten, just to zhuzh it up and actually see how it looks. Because right now, of course, it looks like a sausage, like I have sausages all around. All right, I'll see ya. It's been like six or seven minutes since I'm done with this. It feels pretty cold, so we're gonna go ahead and zhuzh it up and see what it's gonna look like. I don't like to do it earlier because I do want to keep as much of the curl as possible and because uh, I feel like it, it it lasts better if I do this instead of just, you know, kind of pulling on it as I do it, which I've seen people do that. It's just, it's not working for me. All right, so this is what we're looking at. I'm gonna go in the back, kind of, all right. One more thing that you, another thing you could do is just go upside down and just zhuzh it up like this, kind of break down the, the little curls and um, just come back up. And I do like to kind of, after I do this, just kind of work it up a bit because sometimes it does not want to lay how I like it the most. It sometimes really doesn't lay like good either. So sometimes I just have to play with it a bit. And maybe just go like this. But it looks shiny, it looks healthy, it does not look um, dry at all. It actually, um, as, you, as you can see, um, after I do it, it does look nice. It looks nicer than what it was before. Now I do have some fuzzes here. I feel like I always have, have I have always, fuzzes because my hair is quite frizzy and that's why I use stuff so I can you know combat that but when this happens and if it's really bad I know it's really not bad it's just a little bit if I really want to make it sleek because it's important I'll either use the uh, Innocence um, whipped cream texture um, a little bit goes a long way smells delicious <laughs> That's really good. Uh, or I'll just do a hairspray. But um, I find that this, I'm almost done with this. I've had it for a long time. I'm actually looking for a different one. It seems like this one kind of spits on me. And you can tell, <laughs> I haven't used it in a while because it's got a lot of dust gathered. I'm not gonna show you because it's gross. <laughs> I hope you didn't see that earlier. But I guess I didn't realize how long it's been since I've used it last. Or maybe I just didn't pay attention and it just gathers there. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Uh, feel free to, um, you know, tell me your results with it, if you like it. This hair on me lasts a long time, well, until I wash it again. Um, but it's definitely, it's what I go for all of the time, or most of the times, I should say. I do have other things that I use, and sometimes I'll pull them out, but this is kind of like the standard of it. Um, forms nice curls, um, it lasts, so. Yeah, anyways, this is it. I hope you liked it. I hope that I helped you in some way. 
Well, I'm gonna come tomorrow, so I'll come tomorrow and I'll show you how it looks after the first day and then the second and the third until actually I wash it. I'm not gonna put any dry shampoo just yet unless I need it and then I'll tell you if I do. So, um, yeah, but right now this is it. See, I just cannot let it go. <laughs> I just cannot let it go. Cannot let it go. And this is what I was telling you about the sausage. They just kind of go into each other and it looks like a long sausage instead of kind of bouncing against each other, like here, and offering a bunch of nice volume. But anyways, this is it for today. Um, I will see you tomorrow. My white, I love it. I didn't belong there. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I just got done uh, taking the girls to school and this is what we're looking at. Glasses off, all I have on is sunscreen. So bobby pin, cause you know, lots of fuzzes flying around. If not like a little too much <laughs> for my liking. And let's see the bun and the hair. It looks a little, a little wild. So let's see. It's the second day after the whole night. So my bun goes up before I take a shower, of course. And that can be anywhere from eight to even nine, but try to keep it to close to eight, sometimes earlier if I can make it. But yeah, so I'll turn around, let's see. The curl is definitely there. The crown needs a little zhuzhing because being in a ponytail kind of makes it a bit, makes it a bit somehow, like screws up with it. All right, um, I need to see more too. Okay, it's not bad. I mean, I have a lot of curl, which is what I love actually about this method, um, but I could definitely work on a little bit here, just, I usually just do it by hand, kind of re-swirl. I don't, I never use heat for that matter. So as soon as I'm done that day of curling or whatever it is that I'm doing to the hair, that's it for, for it until I wash my hair after. So that's about it. Um, I actually think it looks good. If I feel like it does not, like some days, I'll just mostly go like this, maybe both sides, or just gather a bit and just kind of go like this. It's usually the top, um, the top ones are the ones that are like not very flattering, but the rest kind of looks nice. So it all depends, but I think it looks really good. I prefer it this way anyways. So yeah, this is it for day two. Um, I'll come back on day three and then probably day four because usually is when I do it on Thursday night is when I wash my hair again unless it's really bad and then I'll do it <laughs> on Wednesday night. So there's a little bit of wave here which is going to calm down a bit. If you f find that you have a, like a big wave around here, put in a ponytail to where it kind of straightens up that part and then half an hour later you'll be like good to go. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Fourth day with the curls. Um, gotta take the bobby pin off and the clip. So there's really nothing going on here. It is cloudy and gray outside. Um, it's really icky, but um, yeah, this is just, this is how it is. Let's see what we're looking at here. So I might have to comb these, just brush it through and I will. But I know for a fact that I need dry shampoo because you can tell that my roots are eh, getting out there. 
so i brought something in expectation so i'm gonna i'm trying these one out um it's got citric it's not citric, it does have sugar it's got charcoal which is why i am actually getting it because i'm thinking if i if this one can dupe the igh the one that i love then that's awesome because that one is definitely not very affordable Um, I'm gonna go get my brush and brush it out and then uh, we'll look and see what it looks like actually but so far this is what it looks like definitely a deep um, definitely a deep kind of wave so let's brush these out it's definitely gonna look much nicer after the brush ink the brushing okay a little better but I feel like I should still need a little I can't really see in my big mirror so it's kind of hard there you go That's, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm trying to to think if I really like this one as much as I like the IGH. This is my second time using it. I've used it before, but it didn't feel like it was actually the same same, but I definitely will be trying it more to see and get an idea. But it cuts through grease really nice. So, definitely much better than what we started with i'm not sure if i spray it up here all right and now for the curls because now it's all freezy get the loose hair out It should come in maybe a half an hour to an hour later so that you can actually get to see it's already starting to form with the help of course if you find the curls and just kind of help them out a bit because they're already there they've just been brushed off and they don't hold as good or they don't show as good but they form as you go through the day they start to kind of congeal into curls All right, not bad for the third day with no um, wash, no anything. Um, same thing with the wave up here, that's from my bun and I know that, but it will definitely calm down and it will start to look much better. Now, if I were to go somewhere to work, I would just put it in a little ponytail here and then by the time I get to work, uh, just release it and it would be perfect for the day. It, it forces it to actually uh, straighten up faster rather than just uh, gravity, let gravity work on it. So this is the third day. Let me uh, turn around. Yep. All right, so this is what we're looking at. Fourth day, third day. Um, I, since I put the um, dry shampoo on and I don't really have, I do have, I have a kind of like a nice lunch tomorrow. Maybe I will wash, maybe I won't. I'm not sure. If I do wash it, this is the last of it that you're seeing. If I don't wash it, then you'll see me tomorrow morning. But I would keep it until after, but I'm not sure now because I do have that lunch tomorrow. Maybe I'll just put it in a bun tomorrow. Get an extra extra day, <laughs> an extra day of, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, 
Either way, I will let you know about it in the comment. I'll put something on the screen if I'm washing it tonight. If not, uh, you'll see me tomorrow. Fourth day of hair. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Bobby pin off, clip off. Um, definitely swirly. Let's see. Okay, so curls galore. Definitely nice. I like that. Um, I wonder if I should still comb my hair a bit. Feels like it could need a little bit of combing, kind of. I'm not sure if just brush or fingers or wide comb. Might just do these. Let's see how it looks. Better than these. All right, so, um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, now let's just make it alive. <laughs> I feel like after I comb it, it's definitely like lacking the curl and lacking the the little volume. But doing this, just kind of reforming the curl, because it's already there. It uh, it definitely makes a big difference. I just have to figure out which way, like this way. Something from the back. Lots of loose hair. <gasps> Even though I brushed it. You think that the brush would take everything, but it does not. All right, I'm gonna turn with my back. You can see. Chocolate looks good up here. This is usually where it gets the worst because of the ponytail. It uh, definitely, it definitely kind of leaves a little kink in there. But yeah, this is fourth day. I'm definitely gonna be okay doing these. Now, if later on I feel that it's gotten too greasy again, or that it's just not how I want it, I'll just put it in a ponytail, or I'll put it in a bun, or I could also do a braid or something, but I think that it's actually not looking bad at all. It frames the face nice. And uh, yeah, I'm looking behind there on the camera. Well, not the camera, the mirror. But yeah, um, this this is it. Four days with just one type, not one type, but one one time um, heat, and that's it. Yeah, I think it's good. I I like it this way. I find that it does not damage my hair because I'm not doing it every day. Um, it's really not recommended to wash your hair every day. I mean, I know there's people that have to do that or they feel that they have to do that and that's completely up to you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your hair, but this is what works for me. I used to actually do my hair every week, but that was a little much. I was pushing it big time, like especially the last two days. So if I washed on Monday, by Saturday morning, it was like, it kind of needed it. So um, yeah, I kind of resorted to two days a week. That way it's not too much for the hair and it just still looks good. And I still fiddle with it, of course, because because that's what I do, I fiddle with my hair. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope that this has helped you a little bit and that you kind of saw what I do with my hair. Maybe you picked a t uh, tip or two, uh, maybe it helps you kind of see what hair does in these conditions. Try it for yourself, see if you like it. Of course, if your hair is um, lengthy enough to do that, because if it's shorter, of course, you're not gonna have enough swirls to put on your bun. You could do something else, maybe braid it or something. I don't know, try. Braiding actually does give a lot of volume. Um, I used to do that a lot used to do not just two because two would just separate it but I would do one in here and then I believe two in here and then two in the back yeah that's what it was so one was kind of like the, the back here the crown and then two here 
until the middle and then the two in the back and it really looked nice and gave a lot of volume in a lot of uh, different way because if, if you just do two of them it's the same kind of um, wave so it kind of is in the same way so um, doing that did really good so I kind of forgot about that I might have to do that again but yeah this is how it looks four days in I will wash tonight and then um, start over tomorrow morning with everything else but maybe we'll do another one uh, maybe I'll do a different curl so maybe you can see that so but anyways guys thanks so much for watching I will see you guys in the next one bye this is about a half an hour after uh, the zhuzhing of the hair and the messing with it I just wanted to come in because um, I looked in the mirror and I saw how it actually formed so I thought I'll show you how it actually forms even though it was quite freezy and quite after I got done brushing it it's definitely formed its curls with the help of course but it uh, it looks nice it looks still shiny um, the back hold on let me give it the whole the whole shabang the back is definitely um, nicer too so it just goes to show that uh, when I do comb it or when you will comb it, it will definitely look differently. And then as just gravity sets in and then it just kind of calms down, it's just gonna do these. And um, this is just the goal. <laughs> so you don't have to recurl and so you don't have to put heat on and damage it. So anyways, it was just a quick thing. I just wanted to show you, but yep, that's about it. Um, I'll see you guys next time.